And thank you for joining us for the second half hour of The Factor Uncensored. A candidate for Fort Bend County Commissioner in Precinct 3 is exposing the racism and xenophobic messages sent to him. Terrell Patel posted them online. The worst saying, we don't need more San Negroid humans. On per one person said, he's another dirty Pakistani. But it goes on, despite Patel being of Indian descent, born in Fort Bend County, the hate still rolled in. Some saying he doesn't know English, others saying he wasn't born in America, calling him a communist and a foreigner who wants to take away their guns and freedom. Is this our America? You damn right it is. Tonight, Patel is speaking out and says these kind of attacks totally cross the line. Glad to have you on the Factor Uncensored. Unfortunately, those circumstances are not so great. That's right. I I'm glad to be here. And look, we are always going to push back against hate, especially in a place like Fort Bend County that is so diverse and has given so many blessings to people from all communities and walks of life, but we have to expose what's happening here. And Isaiah, I'll tell you, since we exposed it, those hateful attacks have only increased in the last 24 hours. So wow. it's important we come back together. And for those and take... who are not familiar, Carol, with the attacks that you have seen on social media, tell us about some of the things they have said about you. Now, keep in mind, you're born here in America. Your parents were from India. Uh, right. You've done everything you're supposed to do by the book, uh, became an employee, uh, President, uh, the president brought you to the White House, made you an employee there, but mm -hmm. still, you face racism when you decide to run for Fort Bend County Commissioner. So tell us what you've been hearing from some of the people out there. Absolutely. I, I think, look, it's from a very deeply misguided place of fear that immigrants are coming to take people's jobs or things of that nature. And I try to remind folks is I'm not running against anybody. I'm running for the people, all the people of Precinct 3, whether they like me or not. My goal is to better their lives. But unfortunately, what we hear from a kind of polarized environment is it doesn't matter what my policies are. They're coming after my race, my religion, my nationality, which is American. Uh, but, you know, I've been called Indian, Pakistani, so many different things that are not even accurate. Um, but our goal is to respond back with love and hopefully make it better for the next few generations so that it's easier for them. But also, Izzy, I'm sure you remember, this is nothing new to Fort Bend. You know, last election cycle, a lot of the signs of different candidates were attacked and destroyed. County Judge KP George faced similar attacks. So these folks are kind of out in the open, which is a change in the dynamic. And we want to make sure we as a Fort Bend community that is diverse, that is caring and love filled, fight back against this kind of stuff and expose it for what it is, fear and, and anger. And in some of their hateful social media posts, you are sharing those posts as well with their names on it. But you said this has only emboldened some of them. Un unfortunately, it has because we've received a lot more since that time. But Isaiah, I will tell you this. We have received such an outpouring of support from every community you can possibly imagine in Fort Bend County and beyond. You can just go to our website, thoroughpatelth.com, and we started to post some of the, the positive things that young people, old people from any country you can imagine that are saying of how we need to come together and fight back against this hate. So I'm very hopeful about the future of Fort Bend, even though some people are spreading, you know, salacious rumors and things of that nature that we're trying to expose and hopefully get rid of one day. And Daryl, I know you're a strong guy, but it has to hurt where you have worked and done everything you're supposed to do your entire life, and then you're reduced to racism and hate. How did it feel when those those messages started coming in to you personally? You know, it, it was hard. Um, I remember during COVID, we set up so many vaccination sites, so many locations. During floods, we coordinated rescue operations, and we never once asked anybody, nor would we, hey, what religion are you? What faith are you? You know, we are, we're there to help people with emergency services and resources, and that's what our campaign is all about. But it personally affected me because Fort Bend is a place where I grew up. I went to elementary school here, middle school here, high school here. And for people to reduce us down just to, you know, one symbol or another, it really hurt. But more so, I think it affected my parents a lot more than even me, right? Because they 
are very proud of their son, which I'm very thankful for. But when our community sees this kind of activity, especially during holidays and you know other times when we have a lot of pride in the diversity of Fort Men, it is painful. And you know it does take all the healing words of the community coming together to show that this is not the true identity of our community, no matter the hate that's thrown at us. But that's our guiding light. Mm -hmm. And for those who are wondering, did you ever have any regrets about running after these attacks? No, no regrets. I will tell you, my goal is to, in, to empower and inspire the young people of Fort Bend County. And if we can't take these attacks on head on and focus on the positive results oriented solutions we want to implement, then there's not a good focus or for the future of Fort Bend. So I'm happy to take those bullets now because my goal and my aspiration is to make it easier for the next generation, many of whom you know, are interns with our campaign, are young students that are reaching out that are unaware of this kind of activity even existing in Fort Bend County. So the more we do now to not sweep it under the rug and address it head on, I hope makes it a better future for them. So I think it's important that we're talking about issues like racism and xenophobia, especially when we live in an environment, Isaiah, where people are sweeping this stuff under the rug, whether it's in schools or other places, but that's not what our campaign's gonna do. We know there's a problem, we're gonna address it head on and respond back with love and kindness to everybody and anybody and pave that way for people. And I'm glad you brought that up. Do you think that should be the master plan or something when immigrant families get here? Obviously they want their children to become a part of the American uh, dream and essentially assimilate may, be, assimilate may be the wrong word, but keep your head down, work hard and move forward. But should they also know that there is racism and there's hate here and they should arm their children with that instead of saying, just go out in the world and be successful. You're going to run into these roadblocks, even yeah. if people don't say it. You are 100 percent spot on. If we don't address the problems that exist, I'm putting, in, you know, data is the key thing to expose this. I've shown the posts, I've shown the images, the emails, the texts we've received with the hatred. So it's a reality. We can choose to bury our heads in the sand and ignore it. But more importantly, if we're talking about these kids having a better chance in a world where this exists, we need to let them know it's there and how to proactively address it. And our solutions are simple. Let's get out and vote. Let's embody the principles of love and kindness towards all. And if we proactively embrace these things in our policies and our, in our elections, then we have a better chance of getting rid of them. All right, Daryl Patel, he is a candidate for county commissioner in Fort Bend. We appreciate your time and thank you for joining us on the Factor Uncensored tonight, sir.